Haiti's prime minister says he is declaring a nationwide state of emergency after the assassination of the country's president earlier today. Joe Vanel Moise was killed by unidentified attackers in his home. His wife was shot and wounded. This has many in the Houston Haitian community concerned about the future of that country. KPRC 2's Andy Sirota spoke with members of that community, joins us now from our newsroom with a closer look at what they have to say. Andy? Chris, the news hitting home for members of Houston Haitians United, a local nonprofit whose mission is to promote the Haitian community and their culture. They have serious concerns looking ahead and the impact that this could have on the beloved people of their country. Shock over the assassination of Haiti's president, Jovenel Moïse, rippling through Houston's Haitian community. The killing, described as a highly coordinated attack by a highly trained, heavily armed group, coincided with a wave of gang violence in the capital in recent months. Um, any life lost um, is a tragedy. Members of Houston Haitians United say the country has been engulfed in chaos, facing economic turmoil, a humanitarian crisis, and reeling from political instability. Different factions within the country had been pushing back against Moise, arguing that his term as president legally ended back in February. We don't like the fact that somebody had to lose their life, but hey, uh, perhaps this this will maybe wake somebody up and says okay look this 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 can't go on the country's acting prime minister now calling on the international community to launch an investigation into the killing i'm hoping that our government leaders um you know in haiti uh, will find a solution so we can push through uh, these sensitive times with so many questions one that's weighing heavily on the minds of houston's haitian community what's next we are also a very resilient people, and we're ready to uh, pick up the pieces and uh, move forward to advance the causes of democracy in our country. The country's first lady, Martine Moise, who was wounded in the attack, is critical and was reportedly flown to Florida, where she is now receiving treatment. Live in the newsroom, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News. Thank you.